we got trouble here in America, and I mean big time trouble. And I'm going to make it so plain that even a child can understand what I'm getting ready to say. The White House refuses to attend the drone debate. Now, this is the same administration, in case you don't know uh, what administration this may be, is the Obama administration. The one who promises transparency. The one who, who promises that he would be very transparent and everything will be open for the American people uh, uh, to be able to hear and judge on their own. Of course, everything that he has ever said, the direct opposite has taken place. And these modern day dictators are literally are amazing to me. Now, what we got going on here is we have these unmanned, remotely piloted aircrafts that they call drones that are being used abroad. And of course, what they put the guys under is, is that they help save American lives. But at the same time, these drones don't have the precision because they don't discriminate after they are detonated who they killed and who they don't. So therefore, across the seas and across this world, uh, we are the number one enemy of almost every single country in the world with exception of the Europeans. Now, why am I here this morning? Well, number one, the reason why the Obama administration didn't show up for this debate, even though they delayed it to make sure they, they could pick a time that they could show up, they're voting with their feet. They're telling you that this program is already implemented here in America and drones are already flying around. And if they don't like you, no big deal. You got some um, idiot up there thinking he's playing a video game and he's going to be sending these drones down all these remotely piloted aircrafts down upon cities, countries, townships, or even homes where they suspect terrorist activity could be taking place. My question is, when are the drones going to start flying over the White House where the real terrorists are? Well, when the terrorists are in control, you can forget that. Going forward, how can we understand what's taking place? Well, we have to go back. At the height of its empire, Rome, thought that they were invincible. Conquest after conquest after conquest after conquest. Rome began to take the world. And just like Rome, America has the same arrogancy to it, to where we feel like we can go around and perpetuate evil and injustices and killing innocent civilians with our military might and firepower. We don't think we're coming down. Well, that's why as a pastor, I come in to tell you what's going to happen. You see, there's a creator universe and his name is Yahweh. And he is going to destroy the United States of America. And America is going to be destroyed from within. People don't pay too much attention to history or the Bible. But I cannot help but to see over and over and over again us following the same exact footsteps and footprint of ancient Rome. And we are close to a fall. And it's going to be bad, especially for the uninformed American people who would rather watch TV than make moves to get themselves and their families ready for what's coming down the pike here. Here in America, we have a, an administration, the Obama administration, that is been very vocal, very vocal about letting the American people know that they intend on flying these unmanned aircrafts all over the United States of America. There's going to be a weep and a howl to go all across this land in this country. 
Now, I'm not saying all this to make you fearful because if you're in the right relationship and you understand um, what it means to keep the commandments, live a quiet and peaceable life, it's amazing. Um, you're not too much fearing about when your time and day is coming because we're all going to die one day, but it's how we die and the manner we die. That's the key. My suggestion is you should start listening to me, especially when I'm preaching on Sabbath morning at 11 a.m. And that's the truth. And that's the truth straightway.